This is the fume shroom. It shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. Thank God. Glad we finally have this guy. So screen doors. Yep, these guys are here. Uh, like the newspaper guys, these guys basically have a screen door shield. And whenever you attack it, it will attack the screen door before it actually attacks the zombie. Except when you're using a fume shroom. Fume shrooms are very, very helpful. And we're definitely going to be using them. Yeah, I don't really want the potato mines anymore. They haven't really been that useful, so we'll just go with this. But yeah, I love fume shrooms. Fume shrooms are... Probably one of my more favorite weapons to use, at least during the night time. Obviously during the day time, I would definitely go for the P shooters more, but... You know, as the nighttime ammunition, the fume shrooms are alright. But they're very, very good to have, like, on the other side of walnuts. Probably more so than the, uh, chompers. Uh, not only that, not, not only because, like, they shoot through screen doors, but also because they attack, I believe, multiple zombies at once. So, like, if there's, like, a group of zombies eating the, uh, walnuts, like, you'll get all of them in one strike. You won't just hit, like, you know, the first one that got there. Which is really, really nice. It really does make fighting the zombies a lot easier, I feel like. But first, we're going to go for the normal setup before we start using the fume shrooms. Okay, now I think we can start using them. Let's see, which row should we go to first? Let's do a mix and match. Let's put a fume shroom here and let's put a wall here. And yeah, look how much further they hit from afar. Oh, they're so, so much better. Gotta love these guys. Gotta love them. In fact, hell, it might even be better to put them, like, in the back as opposed to the front. I don't know, really up to you. Really up to your discretion. Okay, so here's the screen door zombies. And yeah, they attack from four squares away, so yeah, they'd probably even be better right here. Hell, they would be better right there. I'll try to fix that. I kind of forgot what their range is. I thought it was shorter than it actually was. So let's go ahead and start shoveling away some of these guys. Oh, they're almost better to have than just these guys. So if you want to start replacing them at some point, go right ahead. Honestly, it's not a bad idea. test something at some point though. I want to make sure I was telling the truth about the whole uh, hits multiple zombies at once. We'll see in just a moment. Yep, it does, okay. 
So yeah, that's what makes them very, very valuable. Unfortunately, though, you can only use them during the night, so you can't take them to the daylight. Unless you have a very specific item. But uh, I'll get into that later when we actually get that item. And... There we go. Ooh, what's this? Looks spooky. This is a grave buster. Plant it on a grave to remove the grave. So that's how we can deal with those. Hey, wanna buy an extra seed slot? Uh, wanna buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you 750, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. That sounds good to me. All right, and hey, when you save up to 5,000, I'll sell you the eight seed slot upgrade. Check you later. So yes, now we can take seven plants with us, not six. Which is very, very, very nice. Not gonna lie. But we'll use all our new plants, and we'll use these three again. Okay, no new zombies, let's go. So the thing about the gravestones is, yes, you can use this thing to get rid of the Grave Buster, to get rid of the graves. But I feel like, while it is good to do that... I don't feel like you completely remove them anyway. Like, I feel like they'll still be, like, they'll come back and they'll regenerate every turn if you get rid of them. But it's still honestly a good thing to do, especially if you're just kind of, like, messing around and trying to get rid of things. Like, right here, this would be a good place to build a uh, walnut, so getting rid of this grave would probably be a good idea. But until I'm doing that, I'm going to stick to just my normal setup of just the Sun Shrooms and the Puff Shrooms. Because, hey, the Puff Shrooms, they don't cost anything. So I might as well use them if I can. And I shall. I, I definitely shall. Here. Will you go down? Will you go down? Yeah, you will. Don't mess with me, you stupid zombies. Okay. So I'm not going to use the Grave Buster just yet. Because I want to focus more on getting my Rose of Sun set up first. And then I want to start working on getting the Fume Shroom set up as well. Because you got to love using those Fume Shrooms. Now we can start getting the fume shrooms. Oh, we have a jumper. Well, that's fine. We can, the jumper is not really worried about too much. Even if he gets rid of these plants, we're going to get rid of him very easily. If anything, these plants are those plants were kind of a distraction until I got my initial setup working. here. Ooh, nice. Love getting those gold coins. Although I would have much rather preferred getting the blue diamonds, but we won't see those for a while. Okay, this is going to be another issue. Ooh. Ouch, this is going to be bad, actually. Uh, I need to get a cherry bomb as soon as possible. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. That was very, very badly played on my part. Ugh. That was not good. I need to kind of fix this. I guess you could say that was my first blemish of the playthrough. Didn't lose a lawnmower, though, so that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and put you here. Oh, God, there's no plants here. Heck. Come on, get rid of them, get rid of them. Okay, good. Woo! Getting a little freaked out here. These guys are not playing around. 
Okay, so I think I think this guy can fire from here. I'll see what square he's on before he can fire, then I'll plan where I need to build my walls. I know I definitely wanna start getting fume shrooms on this row though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I think there's a good place for the walnuts. Yeah, oh wow, that, again, that's a lot further than I thought they could go from. Seriously. I thought the distance was much further than that. I'm glad it's not, though. And yeah, pretty much at this point, we could start destroying the graves. Since, uh, we really only need fume shrooms, and once we have a few more of these, we'll be done with our setup. And see, like this, we have four plants hitting them at once, which is nice. While they're at the walnut, so that'll be... That'll give us lots of opportunities to knock them down before they get too close. Okay, let's get rid of some more gravestones. These things do uh, regenerate pretty quickly. Oh, he ate it. I think they ate the grave, the grave remover thing. They can do that. It is technically a plant, so. Yep, they are eating it. my plants, but big deal. I can just make more since they were only zero. Zero cost. Now if I wanted to, I could even put these guys here. I could put them like right here and then put the little guy there so if they did jump over, they'd just be easily eaten, but... Don't think I really need to worry about that right now since this level is pretty much done. I think next level is going to be a mini game level. It's usually like the mini game is like at the fifth level, the boss level is at the tenth level, and then in between you have just these normal skirmishes. do what I said I would do. So yeah, it's all about it's all about getting creative with your uh, with your plants and how you use them. See like he jumped over that, but he gets eaten if he does that. These guys can still attack. You know, it's not four attacking them at once, but it's still something. The only thing that would make this more effective is if I have a fume shroom in front, which I could easily do if I had more time. But again, the level's not too long, so that's not really necessary. Anyway, we have an almanac as our gift this time. The Suburban Almanac. Keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. So you can look at all your plants, you can look at all the zombies you've encountered, it's a very helpful tool to just kind of, uh, just take a look at everything. If there's a zombie you don't remember how to fight, you can very quickly open that and see what you can do with it. Ever play a game called Whack-A-Zombie? It's just like cutting squirbos. You know, those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that, but instead of squirbos, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. 
Oh, silly, silly, silly Dave. So yeah, we're playing Whack a Zombie. Another little mini game. Gotta all hunt these squirbos. These zombie squirbos. Oh god. I do love the dialogue in this game. I love the dialogue, I love the names that are given to all the plants and even some of the zombies. It's just a very quirky game and that's what I love about it. That's why I think a lot of people love this game and they should, it's a great game. And yeah, look, uh... Even more graves get built. And I'm trying to take them all down. You silly, silly squirbos. I think at some point you just can't get rid of all the graves. Like, they'll form back faster than you can get rid of them. Yep. Great, now we're dealing with the cone heads, which take two hits. Oh no, I didn't want that. Boom. Die! Die, you fools! Give me all the sun in the world! fast. Die. Final wave. Oh no. Ah, eh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, and we get this shroom. This shroom is called the Hypno Shroom. It makes a zombie fight for you. Which is very helpful for... Oh, no, never mind. Well, it's, it's very helpful for these guys, too. The football zombies. Football zombies are very vicious. They are... <sighs> they basically, they run extremely fast. And they eat very fast. And they have a lot of... They have a decent amount of hit points, too. So they're really a zombie you just want to either slow down, or in the case of this level, use a Hypno Shroom to kind of uh, turn them against your zombie enemies. But let's see, let's get... yeah, this will do. I'm not going to worry about the chompers anymore. Let's go ahead and put... Yeah, let's put them there. I kind of waited a bit too long to place that. Oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, I feel pumped after hunting all those squirbos. Not gonna let those squirbos get the best of me. Yeah, you're dead. Don't even try. Don't even try to get cute with me, boy. I know you're dumb zombies. You can't fool me. So yeah, I've been I've pretty much been recording from the beginning to the end uh, so far. Uh, I think after I uh, get to the end of this set, I'll probably take a break and stop recording. I'm not sure how long these videos are going to be, and at some point, even though like this is technically a weekend project, this will probably switch over to a weekday project at some point, probably after Walking Dead finishes, so... This is not going to be just on the weekends. 
Especially because the story mode could potentially take a very long time. It's not a big game, but some of the levels, due to how, just how long they take and how slowly this bar moves, it can be a while. Okay, let's start getting fume shrooms. I'm not going to use the football or the hypno shrooms until the football guys arrive. Those frickin' football guys. Ugh. They're awful, but they're also kind of cool at the same time. Okay, here they are. I may not do it here, because I don't think there's any other zombies in our lane. And I misplaced that. Shoot, I might want to... Yep, I'll go ahead and do it. So yeah, basically, whenever you use the Hypno Shroom on someone, they'll start running the other way. And when they do that, they'll also attack any zombies that are in their way. And when they get to the end, they'll just disappear, like they never even existed, so... They definitely can be useful, or they can be, um, useful to turn against you because of that. Because you're, not only will you get rid of them, but they'll also just, uh, not really bother you, which is nice. Oh, I have no plants here. Oh, I didn't want to put that that far. Well, it still works, okay. Never mind, it's fine. Okay, let's start. I'm also going to get rid of this grave, too, so I can continue to plant stuff. Go ahead and do that. Probably gonna lose one of my mushrooms here. No, I'm not. Okay, wow. Surprised that worked out in my favor. I will get rid of this grave, though. Oh, this is the final wave. Okay. So... <sighs> Damn. I wish I could do this properly. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let that guy attack him instead. And then if this thing goes down, I'll just blow him up. Boom. And with that, we get another new mushroom. We get the... That's right! More cliffhangers! But don't worry, you can catch more Plants vs. Zombies tomorrow, only on the Slim Kirby channel. See you guys then. Later, folks.